Uh, take that, you green-skinned swine. Oh, hi, you caught me playing Angry Birds on my iPad. You know, this thing is great for fun and games, watching videos, surfing the web, but did you know you can actually use it to connect to your Windows desktop and maybe get some work done? There's a couple of apps that'll help you do this. Logby and Ignition is easy to set up, but it costs 30 bucks. You can use that money to buy more games. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your iPad to connect with your Windows desktop for free. To get started, you'll need to download the IR Desktop app from the App Store. Next, it's time to set up your PC to receive remote desktop connections. Go to My Computer, right-click and select Properties. Now, click on the Remote Settings link under the Remote Desktop section. Choose Allow Connections. Save that option and close the window. Next, you'll need the IP address for your computer. If you're only going to be connecting over the same network, you can get this address from your command prompt. Just type CMD in the search field on Windows Start menu to open this. Next, type in IP config. The address you'll want to note is the IPv4 address. If you want to set up remote desktop connection for outside internet connections, make note of the default gateway address. If you want to access your computer from other locations, you'll have to set up port forwarding. This can be different depending on what type of router you have, so you'll have to look at the instructions in your router's manual. Also, if you want to connect to your desktop from an outside connection, you'll need your computer's external IP address. You can find this easily by typing in whatismyip.com to your web browser. Now we have everything we need to connect to your computer from your iPad. Open up IR Desktop and click on the New button in the top left corner. Give your connection any title you like. It's important to enter the right host name as well as the correct username, password, and domain for the Windows user account you're accessing. For the host name, enter in the IPv4 address you got from the IP config earlier, or if you're accessing your computer from outside of your network, enter in the external address from whatismyip.com. So for a better performance or a better experience, you'll want to change your colors to thousands. And you save that. And you'll want to change your resolution to 1024 by 768, which is the native resolution of the iPad. Save that. Save your settings and you're ready to connect. Just tap your title on the main screen and you'll be connected to your full Windows desktop. You can access your files and use your applications. You can even type using the virtual keyboard. Now you're ready to get some work done. Oh, I have a half-finished game of solitaire here. Uh, for IT Business, I'm Brian Jackson. Where is that Jack?